this video explains how you can get rid of these pop-ups uh, when you connect your iPhone to Windows 10 so whenever you connect your iPhone to Windows 10 what happens is that on iPhone you uh, see these pop-ups trust this computer and there are two options trust or don't trust so this pop-up comes every time you connect your iPhone to the laptop and another pop-up that comes is this one allow this device to access photos and videos and there are two options allow don't allow so these pop-ups can be very annoying like every time you connect your iPhone these pop-ups appear and uh, it can be very annoying so to get rid of these pop-ups what you have to do is that uh, you have to install iTunes on Windows 10 so iTunes is one software uh, that comes with the uh, that is uh, free software provided by Apple so what you have to do is just uh, download and install on your Windows 10 you can also uh, go to the Windows Store and then install this app so once uh, this application is installed what you have to do is that you have to go to the account and then click on authorizations and then click on authorize this computer and then what you have to do is that you have to enter your apple id and password here and once you authorize this uh, computer what happens is that next time you connect your iphone to this uh, laptop then that trust pop-up will not appear so what i'm gonna do is just uh, reconnect my iphone to this windows 10 and you can see that on the left hand side it is showing this Sagar's iPhone here in iTunes and uh, similarly if you go to the on the left hand side over here in this PC you can see that there is Sagar's iPhone it is displayed and you can access data as well so to access the data make sure that uh, your iPhone is not locked So that's how you can access your photos videos uh, from your iPhone so that is how you can uh, get rid of this pop-up trust this computer and uh, allow this device to access photos or videos all you have to do is uh, just install this iTunes and then go to account and authorizations and then authorize this computer that's it if you have more questions let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video